Hey everyone, Patrick here, Nowhere to Go Show. It is Sunday, uh, at least when I'm filming it. Don't know if I'm posting it on a Sunday, but it's been a really great uh, opening week weekend for Obsidian Flames that I've seen uh, for other people. So I wanted to do one more opening on the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. Uh, but also while I'm at it, I kind of want to show you. It's pretty cool and, I, and I'm curious if you guys have the same kind of pull rates and disregarded all the stickiness I haven't got off. And also the cheat binder, because I understand some people might that. Out of three booster boxes, I have nearly pulled every card. There's a couple EX uh, that I haven't pulled. Literally just a couple. Uh, I pulled at least every common. I've got majority of the parallels already. Here, let me get to... And then even when I'm down into the secret illustration rares, I've got three on the first page. Uh, a couple on this page. I'm really only missing two trainers, which is nice. And then a couple of the secret illustration rares. And we've already pulled one of the gold with one more left. But we pulled two secret illustration rare trainers. And if you didn't see, we did pull the Charizard. Absolutely stunning. I do transfer the, the more expensive or rare ones into better protection. Um, well, essentially, once I'm done with the set, which is pretty soon since I've got majority of them. But I did want to at least open this ETB. Uh, I've got additional sleeves here. Hopefully we can get some uh, something else great that we don't have. At least one card, whether hyper rare or... Um, I would like to pull that full arts terrestrial Charizard, the non-gold one. Let's see, let's see. And you've seen ETBs before, so I'm not going to go super in depth. I do love that it's Charmander on it. I think it's super cute. Got the design and then you've got the little pattern you know, the little shimmer on the box itself which is great um, again if you haven't seen these kind of explain uh, anything basics of the game if there is new mechanics i did just see at uh, the pokemon world championships they announced new mechanics with ancient and future uh, abilities i guess um, i didn't really quite see everything yet so that'll be coming with the i think the paradox set which is our november set probably our last set here in america uh, but very excited to see what we can get today. Again, let me look because I know I always misread what the, the, the rarity is. So one gold is illustration rare, special illustration is two, of course, hyper rare. And then double black is double rare, but two silver is the ultra rare. That's where you're seeing like the old school full arts and things like that. So I'm gonna keep that over here. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. this is my first time opening one of these ETBs for Obsidian Flames. I didn't get a standard. Uh, ETB. So same kind of packs. You get the the box art, just nice, just the really thick, uh, almost foggy kind of front. I'm hoping Pokemon eventually will fix that, make it clear, because I absolutely love the the art on them, but I just don't use them because they are absolutely wild. So here we got both um, promos, which is absolutely stunning. So I did make a mistake. Uh, the last set, I did say it was like an air box. I didn't realize when you got a Pokemon Center one, you got one of each. You got the one without the stamp and one with the stamp. And again, if you get the Pokemon Center ETB, you get this exclusive stamp. Let me take one out of the plastic just so I can see it up close, the shimmer. Because when I know, when I saw this art and build in Japan, I saw it was the ETB, I got so excited because it's just it's such a nice art. Um, and you're, you're seeing like Charmander, like if he was kept in house, just but wanted to eat that Pidgey. Just curious. That, and the, the detail and the art on the Charmander pressed up against the glass thing is just really nice. Uh, Minaminami Take. Uh, if I pronounced that wrong, I probably did. I apologize. But really nice promo. And I'm glad it comes in every ETB, so it won't be expensive to get because I think this was on the set. This would be such a chase card. And glad it's one that everybody gets with an ETB. Of course, you get your pack of energies, which is great um, for when you're building these decks. You get your dividers, your die that are the color of the set, typically. Although the teal seems a little off. Condition markers. I'm going to go ahead and put this right here as well. And then you get the, I believe it is 10... It is 11 packs, that's right, with the this ETB, because the other one is nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11. So we are on point. So let's get right to it. 
You got the Tyranitar art to start. Always the, the plastic feels a little different sometimes in the ETBs. So I mean, let me know if you kind of have that same feeling. I don't even know if I'm being accurate with that. Dark Energy. Meltam. Let's see if we can get some cards we haven't pulled yet. Pong. Lily Pup. Lapras. Masquerain. Gumshoes. Ooh, Vengeful Parallel. Clefairy. And a Dark Rye. So we'll leave those over here. Tyranitar. I think I haven't pulled the full art Tyranitar one. It's not a secret illustration or anything, but it is a terrestrial one. Looks pretty nice. We've got some fighting energy today. Shawkadet. Another Ponyard. Another Lillipop. Cabrawler. Pupitar. Metogetic. Volcarona. Only Cologne parallel. Oh, wow. So there we go. We're already going to start off with a nice hit. Let's see. Wow. Double hit. So one with the Dragonite EX. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep that put it aside. We've pulled one of these. If you haven't seen it yet, there it is. It is a very nice EX. He is Dragon type with the Terra. Wing attack and Mighty Meteor. But let's have a look at this Pidgeot. This is my next chase card behind the Charizard. The blue is so bold on this card. The shimmering is is absolutely gorgeous. You can almost see the, you can, it looks like rays of sunshine coming through. Wow, I'm already, this ETB is already worth it. Amazing, because <laughs> so ETBs for me are always hit or miss. They're either really great or kind of minimal. Let's see, is that Route 18 is what it's showing on there? Yeah, and wow, absolutely stunning with the quick search and blustery win. Pidgeot EX, that pack had two hits in it. Our second pack in, can't be mad. That is absolutely awesome. I'm actually gonna put you there because that's, I think that's gonna be our biggest hit of the day. I, I don't see us pulling another big secret illustration rare. I think that's labeled with the double gold. Where's that? That's double silver. So that's just the, well, that, that is gold. I'm just missing it. The, the glare with and my glasses. I've been wearing glasses only for about a month now, so I'm still getting used to it. That is the secret illustration where Adino, Charmander, Jatini, Magnezone, Abominable, Mawile, Whiskash, Bonds, and a Vespaquin EX. That is my third Vespaquin EX full art. So that is our, that is a great hit. It is a double silver, uh, again, which is the ultra rare. Very nice card. Uh, just I already have two other, or yeah, two other ones. That's funny how sometimes you get one like pretty good card just multiple times. That means there's someone out there probably pulling the, the Charizard multiple times. And good for you if you are. All right, Fire Energy. I would just like to pull, I was looking at the uh, TCG player release, the hit rates, and of course the one Charizard is the hardest with the Gita. Secret Illustration, we pulled both in that ETB video, and that was so cool to see. And then there was a couple, like the Cleffa and the Ninetales were considered one of the harder ones to pull too, and we pulled those. So outside of like the other Charizards, uh, the gold one, the regular full art, um, I guess you'd say the ultra rare one, and even the standard EX, those are considered some of the hardest pulls in the set. Hopefully we can pull it. No, again, we pulled the two, according to the TCG player, rarest cards in the set. Oddish. Finn is in, Hardier, Glimit, Arvin, Stunfisk, Umbreon, ooh, Dragonair, Adino, and an Absol EX. I don't think I pulled this, and that foil on it looks really good. That's actually a really awesome art. Very three-dimensional, popping out of its space, the claw. The Obsidian Flame set is, has some amazing art. It's definitely grown on me more even since our first box opening it of just seeing hey i really like the, the first the amount of hits we're getting and again let me know if you're kind of having the same luck or if it's a little different for you wow so we've got three four hits so far and we've got one three four five this is six packs including this one remaining i would already consider this a, a success a 30 percent hits because that's usually what I, I base most of uh, Scarlet and Violet so far. Dolive, Timpole, Doug Trio. That might mean the next six packs are nothing. Young Goose, Ponyard, and a Toxtricity is a hollow rare. Nice. 
And then look out, I, I think it's already out, but the Umbreon and Espeon GameStop promos. See if your local store has them. I haven't gone and checked mine. And so if you're a big Evolution and you want that exclusive stamp on there, definitely get out there because their wild supplies last, they will go. Litwick, Rhyme, Rock Rough, Wiglet, Puppy, Lunatone, Dartrix, that fin is in parallel, Grievehard parallel, and a Gita. So I think there's a standard Gita I haven't pulled yet. Like regular full art or as they would say, ultra rare, double silver. So four packs remaining. Um, if I haven't set yet, yeah, guys, uh, leave a like if you can. It means a lot. Um, leave a like for the Charmander art, or Pidgeot, Surskit, Numel, Grievard, Dynamo, Solrock, Houndoom, that's such a cool art, Grand Bull, Looking Prowl, Combi, Herdier, and a Togekiss parallel. I'm sorry, not regular hollow rare. Three packs remaining, another Tyranitar pack art. Now we hit all of them up front. Nothing wrong with that though. Just code card. With a little water energy coming your way. We're gonna start with some Froakie, Darumaka, Buizel, Bounce Sweet, Frogadier, Stunfisk, Salazzle, Ooh, Charmander Parallel, Numel Parallel, and a Clay Dog. We've pulled two in this box. The legacy of the hollow rare clay doll continues. I swear we pulled like at least 10 of them in that booster box battle that myself, Kaylin, and Riel did. And dark energy. Maybe there'll be a dark type Charizard in here. Lampence, Gloom, Bronzor, Snubble, Lunatone, Serena, that Lycanroc, Rock, one of the best I've seen. I wish there was a hollow foil to it. Magnemites, Drillbur. And a Toxtricity again, so very nice card. And like I said, we think we got our hits all out of the way, but maybe we'll have some last pack magic with the River Room. And again, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to stop and watch. If you could, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It is a little bell if you do want to be notified. Let's see if we get anything in this last pack before I do a recap on everything we hit. Larve. It's kind of the... Uh, I don't think I've really looked close to that one. Rowlet on some kind of psychedelic. Wug Trio. The King's Gone. Love the Sun. It reminds me of Lion King. Almost like Pride Rock. That Whiskash. Armor Rouge. Squavets. And a Gita. So here we have the hits that we all got in like the first two or three packs. Well, one, there's that Charmander that you get as your standard. ETB promo. Very nice card. He wants to eat the Pidgey, and that's okay. Because Pidgey is annoying him, it looks like. There's a If you didn't see, there's a second Pidgey chilling right here. But the, the biggest hit, of course, is that Pidgeot. Very nice. The blue contrast. Route 18. Kalen's going to be real jealous of that one. The Absol, it's my favorite EX so far of the set. Just looks like he's crushing through the card. Very nice foil pattern on that. Our third Vespa coin EX. So, got a couple extras for trade bait and another Dragonite EX. So, everyone likes Dragonite. But, appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you next time.